there's been a massive crash. Take Take this picture, boy. Take this picture, boy. There you go. Why are you bullying me? That's hard. Look at that. Oh. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. What is popping, YouTube? This is your boy Trav, and welcome to Northbound. Basically, you on a road trip with all your homies, and some drama breaks out. You know what I'm saying? You probably gonna lose friends, make friends. I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? But we just gonna jump into it. We gonna see what's popping with it. Let's make it hot. Ooh, wait. Three years. Three years of my life I spent sitting in lectures, wandering those halls, socializing with young creative people. Now we've all graduated. Everyone has plans. Everyone has ambitions. Everyone has grown up. Everyone but me. And maybe these guys, you, Jens, and Fred, uh, hey guys, long time no see. Listen, we're not listening, we're reading. Ha ha ha, you're so cool, Jan. Jens, sorry. Hey, by the way, I'll be done with school in June, so I thought, let's go on a road trip together. Where to? I just I just sent him a picture of a van. Talukinen Lake. Yes. You know, for old times' sake. I don't know. We're not twelve anymore. And isn't that like a two-day drive? An awfully boring two-day drive? Come on, guys, it'll be fun. Just the three of us. I'm on board. And last I checked. None of us had a car. Jins, you're a real party pooper, you know that? Jins, your parents still got their old bus? I guess. So we're set. But the problem is, when we going? I don't know, summer I guess. I'm flexible. Cool, XD. <laughs> Should be able to make it. I'm pumped. Like your boy here, you see that? <clears throat> Sorry. Cool, I'll keep you posted. TTYL. You're not talking, you're right. What? Jens is the coolest friend he has. I already know. She's the coolest friend. Three months later. Today is the day, huh? Ooh. Jens should arrive any minute now. No sign of him yet. Oh, Jens is a man? Oh, I thought it was like Jennifer or something. Is he late? Nah, Jinx has never been late. Maybe I should get my bag. Ooh, we can walk around now. Hey. Let me grab that though. I can throw it. Oh, this is a, the northern visage. <laughs> I guess I'm all set. Bow. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here we go. You rolling up. Hey, they already got the homies in the backseat though. Let me out. Hey man, let me put, can I put this down? Hey Jens, right on time. When was the last time I've been late? Must have been a few years back. Speaking of which, man, I haven't been here in years. You living with your parents again? Why you gotta throw it in my face, Jens? I don't, I don't know, man, I don't know, Jens. I don't rock with you like that, dog. Temporarily. I'm sure your folks are happy to see you. Hey, hey buddy, here in the back. Great seeing you. Now get in the bus already. I gotta introduce you to my girlfriend, Kari. Carrie. Hi. As you can see, Fred's in high spirits as well. And he's right, we should get going. Come on, get in the bus. Right, let me in then. I didn't even open the gate, but all right. I won't tell nobody if you won't. I still can't believe we're actually doing this, guys. Going up to the lake my two best bros reminds me of high school right guys heck yeah boy 
That's the spirit. <laughs> Speaking of spirits, I think it's time for our first beer of the trip. Turn the music up, Jens. Crank it up, boy. Hey. Hope this ain't no copyright music, though. But no beer for me, thanks. And don't get too wild. Not sure how much of the floor is rust. <laughs> you drinking one later, then. Come on, toss me a can. Where they at, though? Oh. Bow. Take that. Go grab yourself one, too. Just don't get too drunk. I don't want to drive all day. Haha. <laughs> okay, Inspector. Cheers. What does these mean? I'm going to just say cheers. Let me get one. I'm not even drinking it. It's going to be intense. Let's do it. What is it? Uh, could you change your radio? Sure, I don't like this channel either. Wow, we finally agree on something, Jens. Hey, 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 while you're standing there, am I standing up? Did you take a picture of me and Car Carrie? I think I saw our old spoiler road around here somewhere. Yeah, it is. Can I move around? Oh, I can move around. All this time I thought I was sitting. All right, everybody say cheese. Hey, oh, there's a Game Boy there. Careful, the film is expensive. There's only like 10 shots left. Take a picture of you too, guy. Push the wrong button. Let me see if I can, can I look at this picture? I didn't even get them in the- Take this picture, boy. Take this picture, boy. There you go. Why are you bullying me? Did I get this one? Let me see. I got the top of his head like slightly though. Hey Fred. Hey man. It's great seeing you guys. How long? How's life? Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Make this trip memorable. For sure. Can I talk to Carrie? Hey there. Hi. How did you and Fred meet? Ah, oh, that's a funny story. Probably not that funny. Even though we work in the same department, we never even saw each other. That is, until the company outing to the Galley Atoll. Yeah, we really hit it off there. Parties by the water and lots of alcohol. So, pretty much the same thing we'll be doing this week. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's play with this Game Boy. That mug kinda lit. Oh, they got a whole game in this bug, though. Hey, that's hard. Look at that. Oh. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. All right, let me try that again. I'm about to bust everybody. Boom. Let me let me get a high score of like ten. Oh, gotcha. Come on, give me that 10. Give me that 10. Oh, can we get 20? We can get 20. <laughs> oh, that is not correct. All right, it's fine. We got 12. I got my score. Hey, we really on a road trip though. Well, look at that. Look at the sky. I need to pee. Girl, we is not pulling over. No, we is not pulling over. Oh man, we really pulled over. I think we have to leave the highway around here somewhere, but I don't remember where. Could you help me out here? Should be a map in the glove box. Here we go. This doesn't look like, oh, it's an auto atlas. From 1989? Okay. Dwarving circle in red. I drove Fred there a few years back when his college girlfriend got sick. It's really cute. In a way. I guess it wasn't Carrie. No. In fact, they broke up the week after that. Ouch. Rosenwald. Isn't that why they say the UFO crash? Don't tell me you believe in that. I mean, why not? Hey, I didn't say I believed it. So it would be pretty cool. For sure. Where are we going again? I didn't forgot, no. Oh, here we go. The lake. We used to go there every year. 
Yeah, until we finished high school. When was that? Like four years ago? He said that like it was 15 years ago or something. Seven? Seven? Let's say, yeah, something like that. Time really flies, huh? But this is still here. Bop! <laughs> he knocked out. Talk to me, James. So, um, you still in contact with anyone from school? Well, I'm seeing you guys right now. Oh, right. I met Roald. Roald? On the bus recently. You know, from art class? Oh. Yeah, the one who wanted to study animation, right? How did that turn out? Well, he started working at his dad's. Lived near the station. Didn't talk much beyond that. That seemed to be doing okay, though. Oh, Apple. Apple probably been here for 30 years. I always prefer red apples. Me too, man. Green apples just don't hit the same. Anything else up here? I'm up the window down. Ooh, that's smooth. I like that. Feel the roar of the, the wind in my hat. What about you? What about me? Huh? You still see anyone from school? I don't know, I haven't since I moved out. Sometimes I caught a glimpse of someone at university, but never really talked to them, so... No, no one really. Apart from you guys, of course. Very occasionally. Guilty as charged. You don't need that, boy. I'ma blind you with that son. What do you think about Fred and Carrie? I'm gonna assume it's Carrie. Psst. You really want to talk about this right here? Don't worry. Even if they're not asleep, they have earphones in. It's almost like they don't want to talk to us. Don't be like that. They're in love. Well, it's about the eighth time Fred's been in love. And even if it wasn't, it's no excuse to ignore us. Or to not tell us that she'd come along until we picked him up. Yeah, it's kind of shady. Expecting us to just be okay with it supposed to be the guys man you didn't ruin it come on it's only been a few hours and he's clearly tired it'll be better tomorrow uh eh, maybe you're right we'll see sorry about before i told myself i wouldn't let these things get to me anymore neither should you what is he talking about him being a a, a meanie pants Okay, yeah, and sorry for being such a downer. Yeah, you better be. Had me thinking I was crazy. Going, I don't know who you messing with. It's just, I've got quite a lot to do. Quite a lot of responsibility. And I wouldn't have agreed had Fred not jumped on this whole road trip thing. Oh, yeah? So you were trying to hang with your boy, but you would have hung with Fred? Alright, man. Alright, I see how you live in jeans. It's cool. I don't like you anyway. So I was skeptical from the start. I thought it would get better once we were on the road, but it didn't. I'm just not sure if any of this was a good idea. Neither am I. Dang, that's kind of sad. The homies ain't even the homies no more. Oh, am I driving now? Mind if I tune out for a few hours? I mean, do what you gotta do, I guess. I'm pretty beat. Uh, kind of want to keep me company, but he might get mad at me, so thanks. It's pretty much impossible to get lost in the next few hundred kilometers anyway, kilometers. I always say that wrong. Just keep heading north. Okay. Now I'm about to be bored because you went to sleep. Oh, I got a steer? Oh, snap. Hey, we swerve it on the road. Pretty sure we're in the wrong lane, but I don't care. Swerving, swerving, swerving. 
I don't think this trip was a good idea. Well, I mean, I guess it'd be like that. It's raining now. Am I standing up again in the middle of the thing? Oh, hey, they put my pictures up. That's pretty cool. Hmm? What is it? Nothing on the radio? No, I couldn't get it. anything on it all morning. Maybe it finally broke. Lovely. Oh, hey, they switched positions. They have more Chinese food? How you doing, Fred? Hey, how are things, mate? I'm uh, bored, I guess. No reason to be, man. I know it's early, but drink a beer. You'll feel better. Boy, I don't want no beer at like 7 a.m. Boy, is he crazy? How you doing, Carrie? You look, you seem quiet. Carrie seemed like she depressed or something. I didn't sleep so well. I don't know, man. The homies ain't lit. Jens ain't lit. Fred ain't lit. Carrie just been sitting there like the whole time. So, uh, you guys want to play anything? Or, as you can no doubt tell, I'm driving. You should try that too sometime. Hmm, fine. And you? Uh, what'd you bring, my guy? Well, no. I only brought booze. But I thought you'd have something. No? Okay. Then not, I guess. Man, yeah, these dudes ain't lit, bro. Fred ain't even bring... Uh, uh... They ain't even got no phone. Okay, seriously, what is it? Huh? What? Feel like you've been regretting this ever since we left. Maybe I have. Oh, come on. It's not so bad, is it? We're young. It's summer. We have alcohol and we're going to the lake. And, I mean, it was your idea after all. You're right, but I don't know. It'll get better once we get there. Oh, come on. You know what they say. Journey is the reward. Cheer up. I'm trying to. There's no such thing as trying. If you want to, you'd have fun. All that stuff is just in your head, dude. Uh, it's not that easy. Nah, come on, you're just being lazy. All this is pointless if you don't want to enjoy yourself, dude. That's not exactly helpful. Now you see, this is exactly the wrong approach. Now you're projecting your problems onto me. I'm just trying to help you. It's hardly my fault you're so miserable. Fred. No, no, he needs to hear this. You're pulling us all down with your attitude. I don't even know what to say here. I'm not gonna yell at him. That's not my intention. That's not my intention. Listen to yourself. Calm down, you two. Oh, shut your mouth. No one asked you. One more word and you're walking home. Oh, now you're threatening me? What are you, my dad? Look at the two of you. You're old and miserable and boring, and you just accept it. What happened to no regrets, no respect, huh? Look at you. We were listening to that guy when we were 13. He's like 40 now and makes people for music like your makes music for people like your aunt. It's time for you to grow up. Look who's talking big. I'm making six figures a year. You're not dressed like you make six figures, my guy. You're really not, but okay. Go off, man. I'm making six figures a year. I'm regional manager. And I live with my girlfriend at my own place. I don't need to take anything from a store clerk who lives with his mom. Shut up already. And you, I especially don't need to take from anything from someone like you. We went to university to study some stupid stuff because you don't want to get a real job. At least he has some common sense left in him. And he's never slept with my girlfriend. <laughs> what? Is that why they beefing like that? Why they haven't said nothing to each other? Oh my. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that's it. We're leaving. We? Stop the bus. I'm not stopping the bus in the middle of the road. Stop. The. Bus. Right now. 20 kilometers later. Oh, snap. They were there talking. It's raining outside, dog. Who am I on the bus with? Oh, just you. Hey, how you doing? I don't know you, so I'm not going to speak with you. I'm sorry. I'm worried about the homies, okay? 
Yeah, I know you understand. My man really stopped the bus, though. Look at my pictures. Ooh. Are you okay? No. Nah. No, nah, I'm not okay. You seem a little agitated. Why wouldn't I? We stopped the bus in the rain. We can talk, you know. For what? What you want me to talk about, girl? Sorry about Fred. Oh, nothing to apologize for. It's not your fault. Has he always been like this? Well, I guess he can be a little impulsive sometimes. And short-sighted. And outright childish. I know. So, uh, you want to talk or something? Yes! Okay, so why, uh, why aren't you having fun? It's because of me, isn't it? Ah, I told him I shouldn't come along. Oh no, not at all. I just, I don't think I've had real fun in years. Why is that? I'm not sure. I just I feel like the people I spent so much time with in the last years are just acquaintances. Most of which I'll never see or talk to again. And like nobody particularly cares about me or what I'm doing. I felt like I just had these two guys left. And you can see how that turned out. But that's not your fault. But it feels like it is. My fault for not keeping up. My fault for not fitting in anymore. So I thought I'd fit in here. But... You'll find a place, I'm sure. What did you want to do in the future? Like jobs? I'm not sure I can get a job. I don't know if I even want a job. Forget jobs. Sorry, I'm complaining too much. It's not like something particularly bad has even happened to me. I mean, there are, like, people starving and stuff. I shouldn't even feel as bad as I do. You know what? I think that's that it's okay. Not good or anything, but okay. We all feel down every once in a while. And while you have every right to do so, or, and you have every right to do so, it doesn't make you a bad person or anything. Take your time. What's important is that you find your peace. So, like dying? Oh my god! Why we gotta be stupid? No, not like that, jeez. Looks like they're coming back, does it? Cause they still standing there, my guy. Yes. So now it's pouring down even harder. At least she's sitting forward now. Uh, are you okay? Honestly, I'm not. This is like the weirdest situation. I've never seen him like this. And you'll probably never see him like this again. You're probably gonna break up with him. Is this whole situation okay for you? Yes. I'm always okay. It's fine. Uh, you sound like me. You want to talk about it? I have nothing to talk to you about. Uh, want to have something to drink? No. Oh, okay, fine. I thought he wanted to return home. He did, but his parents won't pick him up. <laughs> ah. What happened to Mr. Regional Manager? Mr. Six Figure? Or <laughs> too far out for them. Way too far. I convinced him to stay. Well, I appreciate you, Carrie. You turned out to be a, a real trooper. We're here. I doubt anyone is in the mood for a late night swim. We got here at nighttime, dude. So let's just set up tents up here. Um, what's that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Figures. What happened? Oh! Uh. 
Really? A whole lake? They filled it up. I built an eye stock on top of it. Wow. That's sad. They filled up an entire lake and just built a, a building on top of it. Maybe we should have checked on this beforehand. Probably. But that's just the way it is, I guess. I can hardly tear the store down and dig the lake back up. And even then, it wouldn't be the same lake, technically. Right, let's just set up our tents and go to sleep. Oh, this is it. Is this her first time here? You know, I think this is kind of funny. I didn't know what to expect, but it certainly wasn't this. I guess I'll never be part of your memories of Talakunin Lake. Then again, I don't think I ever had to be. Yeah, I guess you didn't. We came out here for this. Furniture and cheap hot dogs. Oh, so it's like Ikea? <laughs> Look, man, I'm sorry. I'll just set up my tent over there. Where are the tents? Oh, wait. Is that the end? Hey. 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 Hey, there go my pictures. My pictures. <laughs> the first three are horrible, but I, I think the last few are, are pretty good. All right, guys, that was Northbound. Um, I think this is one of those games where they really want you to, to think um, and feel something. I know uh, a lot of my friends are about to graduate or are graduating uh, pretty soon. And uh, I'm kind of seeing them, you know, graduate and they're going to be moving on to stuff. And I'm, I'm not really doing that. Um, I mean, I'm progressing you know, on my in my own right, but not in that way. So I kind of relate to the, you know, the the protagonist and like his friends are kind of kind of moving on without him. But um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is a dope game. It's one of those things where you just have to kind of draw your own conclusion about it. And then the 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 store at the end is kind of funny because it's like they wanted to relive, you know, their their I guess teen time. And then it's like the the building represents like growth and and stuff not being the same basically. So it's pretty cool, man. But as always, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content. Until next time. Peace.